Hoops on Hoops 8. The AA Championship featuring South Portland and Oxford Hills. The boys game, last game of the night. Red Riot's last one in 1992, and they started hot in this one. Connor Maloney from the corner, he had 15. Oxford Hills super sophomore Tegan Pelletier inside. A game high 18, keeping his team in it. South Portland can beat you in so many ways, though. The transition game, Ben Smith finishing. South Portland up 27-24 at the half. South Portland pulls away in the third. Jackson, the perfect pick and roll to J.P. Estrella. He had 17. Then Jackson showing the pivots inside. Red Riots outscore Oxford Hills 11-4 in the third. The exclamation point. Joey Hanlon to Estrella, throwing down. And how about the double exclamation point for a state championship. Estrella again. And Kevin Millington. A South Portland alum leading the Red Riots to their first state championship since the epic 92 title. 58 44 South Portland is the title winner. It's just really special after 30 years. Uh, these guys are warriors because you saw Oxford Hills never quit. They kept coming at us and at us, and we kind of expected it, and we just kept grinding. So, yeah, really special. This is a really good group. Double-A girls championship, Cheveris and Gorham. Gorham in the title game for the third time in the last six years. Back and forth, first period. Nicole Walker to Kalen Curtis. It's 19-19 at the break. Stag start out the third on a run. The kick out to Julia Kratzer. Hits the three. Cheveris in their first ever state title game. Turning up the defense. Lillian Singleton to steal. She's going coastal. 13-4 run to start the third period. Then Emma Lizot inside. Lizot triple team. She had 14. The route is on. Then Kratzer who had four threes, knocks down the three. She had 17, and Chevis 47-36, the school's first title. Fourth for head coach Billy Goodman, and the third period was the difference. When it got to the third quarter, we've been preaching about how third quarters have got to be better for us, and we came out here, and we got it done in the third quarter, and we put it away. About 5,000 packing into the Cross Insurance Arena for Nokomis and Falmouth in the A title game. Nokomis in transition. It's super freshman Cooper Flagg finishing from Madden White. Then White receiving this time, putting it away, an early lead for Nokomis. End of the first, Falmouth looking for some momentum. Jack Stowell gives it to him, just beats the buzzer. But in the second, Flag goes to work. Back door, White finds him. And Brian Scalabrini, the former Celtic watching, he's a friend of the Flag family. 19-12, Nokomis at the half. In the third, Flag gets in the paint. He had 22 and 16. Then dishing, no look to his twin brother, Ace. 36-21, Nokomis starting to pull away. Falmouth musters a comeback, though. Off the steal, Brady Coyne ahead to Judd Armstrong. Who would have thought Falmouth would outdunk Nokomis one to nothing? But the Flags pull away. Cooper inside to Connor Sides, 43-27 to Comus. The Warriors complete a dream season for the school's first championship. And it's really exciting to be able to give this back to the community. It's always been our dream, so it's just really exciting. We've been playing together ever since like third grade, so I mean it's nothing new for us. We've been together our whole lives. I mean that's probably the thing I'm going to miss the most about this team is just the off the court stuff. To Class A girls championship, Skowhegan and Greeley. Riverhawks miss basketball semifinalists. JC Christopher showing off all her game. The rebound and then the assist to Allie Fry. Then Christopher with the nasty step back. Skowhegan with a nine point lead at the half. In the third, Chelsea Graver takes matters into her own hands. The big step back, the long three. Then Graver on the break, the pull up three. Greeley still down 39 30. Graver then attacking. 23 of her 32 came in the second half. Christopher, though, on the break, showing the full game, the assist. She had 24 points, seven rebounds, four dishes. Christopher then feeding Callaway LePage. Skowhegan wins the A Girls Championship 60 to 46, their first title, and they go unbeaten. Class C Boys final, Deergo and Dexter. This is one of the games of the year. An instant classic. Early fourth, Will Kuznares inside for the hoop and the foul. Dexter up 13, looking for the championship. But Deergo creeping back in. Dakota Tompkins, the basket and the foul. Then Trenton Hutchinson, the finish and the foul. Cougars cut the lead down to three. Dexter answers. Avery Gagnon, a big game. Tigers back up five. Other way, Charlie Houghton for three. Cougars are down two. Late in the fourth, Trenton Holman, the three. And Deergo, how about this? Comes back to take the lead from down 13. Other way, Kuznares inside the putback. Dexter goes back on top. Final seconds of the game. We're tied. Houghton pulls it back out. Fires and... How about that at the buzzer? Deergo 59-56 to win the C championship, the first since 2012. Fifth time a state title has been won on a buzzer beater. 
Seagirls final. Unbeaten Haldale taking on Stearns in Augusta. First quarter, Allison Alley finds Kelly Farber for two. We have an 8-8 game after a quarter. Haldale takes the lead in the second. KK Wills with a pull-up J. Then Hayden Medore, she pulls up in transition. So many weapons on this Bulldog team. They're up 23-17 at the break. Haldale pulls away in the third. Medore inside the basket and the foul. Then Wills drains the three. Bulldogs up by 15. Later, Medore ahead of the pack on the fast break. She, she had 16. And Medore finds Wills, who had 12. Haldale completes the perfect season with a 57-42 win. The Bulldogs' first title since 2012. D-Boys final, Forest Hills trying for a three-peat against Southern Aroostook. Fast pace early on, Hunter Burpee, the three for Southern Aroostook. Other way, Mason Desjardins, the tough drive to the hoop for Forest Hills. End of the first quarter, Burpee banks it in from just inside a half court, 28-14 Warriors. In the second, Brennan Burpee for three, Southern Aroostook led by as many as 33. Forest Hills put up a fight though. Desjardins, he had 36, they cut the lead to 13 in the fourth. But the Warriors answer, Burpee had 17, Dylan Burpee, Hunter Burpee had 31, 82-61, Southern Aroostook, their first title since 1991. D-Girls Championship, that's Southern Aroostook again against Seacoast Christian of South Berwick. All Southern Aroostook in this one, Madison Russell to Cami Shields on the break. Then Russell splits the defenders for two, a quick double-digit lead. Then Madison Shields will split up or will spot up for three. 24 to nothing Warriors after one. They score the first 43 points of the game. 58 to 18. Southern Aroostook wins its third goal ball since 2018.